in a spectacular year end finale, Hollywood witnessed the Timothy Chalamet led musical adaptation of Wonka claiming the top spot at the box office. Based on Roald Dahl's classic tale, the film raked in an estimated $38, one cent million surpassing competitors like Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom and The Color Purple. The weekend success propelled Wonka's domestic total to an impressive $142.05 million, comfortably exceeding its $125 billion budget. Notably, the film's triumph overshadowed Aquaman's second weekend earnings of $19, 5 cents million, bringing its total box office to $84.07 million. The Color Purple, an Oprah Winfrey produced musical remake, also made a notable contribution with $13 million over the weekend setting the stage for a strong award season performance. Despite the challenges posed by the months long writers and actor strikes in 2023, the overall box office for the year reached $9 billion, reflecting a 20 increase in ticket sales from the previous year. This positive trajectory was bolstered by a diverse array of films, including the successful debut of Barbie and Oppenheimer earlier in the year. While Wonka claimed the crown during the New Year weekend, other notable releases, such as Universal's Migration and Sony Pictures' Anyone, but you showcase their resilience in the competitive market. Additionally, George Clooney's The Boys in the Boat garnered $24.06 million since its Christmas Day opening, contributing to the industry's year-end success. However, challenges persisted with the impact of the writers and actors' strikes evident in the postponement of several premieres, including Dunn, Part 2 starring Austin Butler. The Eras Tour concert movie proved instrumental, bringing in $178.02 million domestically and helping the industry reach the $9 billion mark on December 30. While this fell short of pre-pandemic levels, it provided valuable insights into audience preferences for a diverse range of films, signaling a promising start for the upcoming year. 